Welcome back. Alright, I'm ready to go to... I think the last area. Wait, one sec. Okay. In the last part, we uh, pretty much had to go here to... Uh, Saturn Village. And there's this uh, phase distorter thingy up here. And they want us to ride it to take us to, uh, I guess, a place we can't return to. And it seems like that will probably be our last destination. So it told us to stock up. Man, I am lagging. Told us to stock up on a lot of items and make sure that I'm ready to go. Uh, so yeah, you see the bear I have? I got a lot of stuff. Uh, I just threw all the items I had, the remaining items I had, at Miruk. Um, I had two cup of live noodles, two bags of Dragonite, and three brain food lunches, and then I left a space just in case. Uh, Paula is just gonna have the magic truffle glitch with the Franklin badge. Jeff is just gonna have all bottle rockets. I also learned that the neutralizer is uh, the thing that removes all shields. Pretty much when it's too late, but whatever. Maybe I could find it useful. And then Pooh will have uh, all these bears. Just so that we could tank. Because I have a feeling... Um, that, I mean, the walkthrough pretty much says... You won't really want to... Uh, fight. You won't really want to take that much damage from all the enemies you fight. But yeah, let's go. Good, at last the time has come. Are you ready? Remember, the Phase 2 Distorter, version 2, is equipped with two new features. First, it can repair your biological functions. Second, it can save your progress. Don't be afraid, get right in. Yeah, I'm also, I'm also looking into a lot of information from the walkthrough, just because, uh... Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna get nintendo if I don't. There's always some, uh, cheap little thing that I'm not aware of that will kill me. <laughs> And then force me to start over. This music. What the fuck? Greetings, so you are finally here. Excellent, you are truly excellent. There is only a little time left. I'll give you the last power. I must go now. Okay, Pooh became conscious of PSI Starstorm. Omega, alright. Oh yeah, also if you guys want to see the levels that we're going into this. 81, 74, 73, and 69. It's still gotta get Pooh up to 70, but... Hopefully that we're at good enough level. What the hell? Okay, that was just a glitch on my part, I guess. Kidnapped. I was, boing, kidnapper, bad guy. Bad guy gone, zoom, to the past, ding ding. Okay. Maybe checked the broken phase distorter. Wait, he came here by himself? There is a horn of life. Maybe got the horn of, oh wait, okay. All right, I guess my inventory is already full. Hopefully I don't get another item and I have to throw that away. Oh, okay, I was like, what the hell do I do? The phase distorter has been completed. You can finish it quickly because of Mr. Saturn's incredible scientific skill. Gigas is attacking from our exact location, but he is attacking from many years in the past. What? So we have to go into the past? You must warp to the past and fight, but... But what? We here too, boing. Yeah, you are. Oh no, he's gonna say the same thing. Shay, are we going to Gigas already? Pretty sure. This is very hard for me to tell you, but... Where are you going? In order to defeat Gigas, who is attacking from the past, you must warp to the past. Okay. This can be done by way of the Phase Distorter 3. However, the machine cannot warp the living things, I mean life forms. Life is demolished in the process of warping. The only way to accomplish the time travel is 
to transfer your brain program into a robot. What? And send the robot to the past. The transfer means that your spirit will go with the robot. Your body is left behind. I cannot promise that your spirit will come back after the battle in the past. Yet you must understand that the four of you are the chosen ones. Do you still wish to face Gigas by traveling to the past? I mean, I'm stuck here. Hmm, you must accept this while knowing that you may not be able to return to your current form, right? Sounds like they're going to cut out our brains or something. Just throw it in a robot. Yes, I see. You have really set your mind on this. Let me take a good look at you now. Miduk, please give me that red cap. Oh god, sounds like they are cutting my brain out. Ready, stand by. Oh my god, what the fuck? I still have the hat on. Sounds like a drill. Okay, alright, no. I'm pretty sure they can't show it, but I'm pretty sure they're uh, performing brain surgery on each of these children. Jesus, this is a little extreme. I feel like this wouldn't even work, they would just be dead. Midrick, Paula, Pooh, Jeff, my son. There is no turning back now. Midrick, activate the Distorter 3 by your own hands. Uh, robot hands? Thereby following your own destiny. Will you do so? If I say no. I see, Jeff, you do it. <laughs> no. Oh, you lost your nerve. Midrick, it's up to you. No. I see, Jeff, you do it. No. Okay, alright. That's funny. Only a few people know of your amazing courage, but the number of people you saved through that bravery is immense. I feel very fortunate to be present at the beginning of this monumental undertaking. Honestly, just just this just sounds like a crazy scientist. Where do we put our bodies? Oh wow. Do you even hear the little clanking noises? Ah. And music. Oh shit, there's an enemy. Alright, let's go back real quick. I'll make sure I don't miss anything. What's this? Okay, so now we're just in the past, I guess. Input your command. Repair, communicate. Miruk, it is your dad. Who is this? Miruk? Do you have a cold or something? Your voice sounds kind of funny. Oh well, that's okay. Okay, alright. So, we can save here? I don't want to save. Oh, I can only talk to my dad, too. I can't talk to my mom. Alright, so yeah, we are ready. I guess we're ready. Fuck! Oh no! Not already. We just started. PSI shield B. Dodged it, okay. I honestly want to run away. I know that guy in the back, he's gonna blow up if we fight him, or if we kill him, so... Yeah, fuck that. I'll fight other enemies, but I don't want to fight that one. It's just like fighting electrodes, fuck that. Okay, yeah, we'll fight this guy. What the fuck, though? Jesus. Let's just go for basic attack, Squatter Demon. Hypnosis. Jeff is asleep. That's fine. Alright. Easy. Alright, he's awake. No damage so far. Let's go. Oh no. Ah, uh, no, we're running. Fuck this. Oh, shit. Did it work? Okay. 
Oh, come on. What the fuck? Why did Jeff die? Are you kidding me? We already have a death. Okay. Well... Okay, whatever. Just get up. <laughs> what the fuck? Weird. Was that what the flash did? Oh my god. Oh wait, no, that's the guy who explodes. The guy- They both look like they explode, honestly. All I know is I'm not fighting either of those things. I ain't taking that risk. Nuclear robot, that's the thing that explodes. We're getting away pretty easily. I wonder if it's because I have uh, the lucky rabbit's foot, which uh, like increases speed. I want that butterfly. Oh man, I couldn't get it. We'll take this on though. Just stick to the one-on-ones. I might do a two-on-two, but I don't know. It doesn't really seem worth it, you know. Okay, Poo 70 now, sweet. I also read online that, um, I think they said, like, uh, if you're in your 90s, level 90, it's, like, super easy or something, but, yeah, I am nowhere near that. I mean, I'm 10 levels away, or no, 9 levels away from Meteor getting there, so. The hell, how did I get its back? Oh, God, nope, we are not fighting this. It feels like I really should be grinding. Uh, because of my level, but I don't really want to. Sweet. How are we getting their backs? This is just so lucky. You want some? Hmm? You want some? Now that you're all alone. Alright, we're gonna fight this. I haven't seen this yet. Ghost of Starman. Sweet. I feel like they're just supposed to be the toughest enemies, but it feels good just to punch them to death. Especially with our robot bodies. Legendary Bat. Ah, oh, fuck. Um... Well, can't I just throw away the magic ant bat? You shouldn't throw the magic camp bat away. No, I can't. Um, can I throw this away? Shouldn't throw the neutralizer away. Okay. We could throw a ketchup back away. That's fine. Wait, Jeff is is hurt. Oh no, it doesn't matter. Wait, what's the ketchup? Does it heal at all? No. Let's... Let's save state and hit use. I want to see what it does if I just use the ketchup packet. Paula took the ketchup packet out and Jeff ate it. Alright, we'll take that. that wasn't very bad, alright. Oh shit, but now I can't... Ah, uh, I should have gave her the Horn of Life. Fuck! Well, actually, no, I saved the state, so... Yeah. Fuck that bullshit. This inventory, man, I hate it. Alright, so give that, and then give her Horn of Life. So that I could get the bat. And rearranging stuff is difficult too, that's one thing I don't like. Alright, put this. Okay, that is much better. I was like, what? I don't see any increase. And let's see if we could throw this away. No, I can't. Alright, 
Oh well. I need a good offensive item, I guess. What the fuck? Alright. Sweet, a one on one. Final star, man. I haven't fought in this yet. See if my new bat will do any damage. Brain shock. What the fuck? It's not a poo move. Who felt strange? Oh shit! Look at that. The new bat with the crit. I guess it was worth it. Eighty-two. I wonder how much XP I get if I killed everybody. I mean, I'd take a lot of damage, but probably just a couple levels. Probably just two levels. What the fuck? Alright. Bionic Kraken. Oh yeah, this guy drops the, um... There's a YouTube video. This guy drops the... It's like the best bat in the game or something. But it's like a 1 in 28th. Or yeah, 128th out of 1. And you have to like grind for no reason. Or it's not really it's not really useful because this is the last area, so yeah, we're not doing that. I only grinded for one item. I only grinded for Pooh's item. After that, I kind of just gave up. I was I don't know. It takes a little too much time. And the levels, like, I feel like if I had grinded, I would have surpassed 99. If I had went for all of those uh, very, very hard-to-get items. I probably would have gone way too high. I think it rolls over, if I'm right. Uh, if you get to level 99 and you level up again. Damn, we're just critting. Actually, I need to heal Jeff. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Oops. We'll give him the big heal. There we go. What the hell? Oh, okay. I didn't even notice the hole there. Oh shit. We're already at the uh, intestines. That's kind of cool. It's funny, I've never... um beaten this game, but I feel like everybody knows, or most people know who know about Earthbound know about these intestines. i just seen them so many times. Oh shit. What the fuck is that? That is, that looks like a, either like a, a belly button or like a, you know, like a rectum. Prolapsed. Alright. Oh, there's Pokey. I haven't seen him for ever in a long time. Mirk, are you surprised? It's me, Pokey. I assist only the strong and able. That's Pokey. You guys look pathetic. The Apple of Enlightenment has already made me a prediction. But I won't let what the Apple of Enlightenment, Enlightenment predicted take place. You guys will be beaten by Gigas. Gigas will be stronger, a more powerful entity than any other. Why? Because of me. I was led by Gigas, and now I'm here. The Apple of Enlightenment couldn't predict this. Master Gigas, no. Gigas is no longer the wielder of evil. He has become the embodiment of evil itself, which he cannot control on his own. He is the evil power. Alright, fuck. Oh, this music. This is like the ultimate uh, fighting music. For, for Nintendo. This sounds like some like Castlevania esque music. Alright, so what should we do?
This music. <laughs> Let's use the bag of Dragonite. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I have a guide for this. Let's use a shield. Wait, no, fuck it. Oh my god. Can you chill? Wait a minute. Yeah, okay, I'm not supposed to attack uh, Gigas. I know that much. And I need to defect, defend everybody, protect everybody. Alright, I know what I'll do. I want to use the Bag of Dragonite, but it seems like it's an AoE. I did not know that. This music, this change up on this music. Honestly, Pooh should be doing the uh, shielding, but right, whatever. Yeah, Pooh's the fastest. Even though I gave the tail, the rabbit's foot to Jeff, Pooh seems still seems faster. I understand you guys are already claim claiming to be heroes. Well, it's a gazillion years too early for you to oppose Gigas. You must feel pretty stupid to keep fighting without even knowing what Gigas looks like. Well, I mean, it looks like me. If you ever, if you were to ever see Gigas, you'd be petrified with fear. You'd never be able to run away. That's how scary it is. So, do you want me to turn off the Devil's Machine? Well, I mean, you, did you see him? You don't seem scared. What? Prepare? What? Wait, no way. Did we already defeat Pokey? So isn't this terrifying? I'm terrified too. Gigas cannot think rationally anymore. And he isn't even aware of what he is doing right now. His own mind was destroyed by his incredible power. What an ally, an almighty idiot. Yup, that's what he is. He he he. And you, you will be just another meal to him. Wow, did we just fucking kill Pokey? We did! Okay, we killed Pokey with one hit. That was, that was, honestly, I gotta say, that was a joke. <laughs> Pokey was an absolute joke. Oh wait, I just hit Gigas. Um, alright, so I guess we gotta go on... Let's see, it says I can hit Gigas. This is stage 2, isn't it? Um, let's try the Bag of Dragonite, fuck it. Um, I think Paula just... Yeah, let's just go off. Let's just go off. It says I can't use the multi bottle rockets here for some reason. Honestly, they're a little cheap. I get it. And it wants me to. What is this? Brain shock? What the fuck does brain shock do? I don't even use this move. G okay, Gigas felt a little strange and is acting a bit unusual. Alright. Now we gotta heal Poo. Turned into a gigantic fire beak. Okay, that was good. Uh, we'll have Pooh heal himself. Seems like he can. Since Paula has the stronger attack. Um, life up. Yeah, fuck it. We still got plenty of items. I guess this is a little scary. Not only does that pink attack though. It just it makes things less scary. Oh shit, wait, Pooh died? Alright, I guess we gotta revive him. When did that happen? And what's wrong with Jeff? I don't know what happened there. Let's try this neutralizer. The effects the PSI on Gigas is gone. 
Okay, that didn't fix it. If he's acting strange, does that mean he'll attack us? Or own oh, look who's back. Wait, did we defeat phase two already? <laughs> hee hee, you must... You must really be at the top of your rope. In this bizarre dimension, you four are the only force fighting for justice, and here you stand, waiting to be burned up with the rest of the garbage of the universe. Ha! That's so sad. I can't help but shed a tear. You know my heart is beating incredibly fast. I must be experiencing absolute terror. Do you want to scream for help in the dark? Ha 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 ha. Why not call your mommy, Miduk? Say, Mommy, Daddy, I'm so frightened, I think I'm gonna wet my pants. I know you have telepathy or something, so just try and call for help. You pathetically weak heroes of so-called justice. No one will help you now. Ha 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 ha. Don't worry, your pitiful suffering will be over soon. And he's gone. He just dipped out. Okay. Oh wait, is this- okay, I guess- I think we're in- <laughs> I think we're in phase three already, like- are you serious? We didn't really do that much damage to him. Okay, we gotta make sure Poot is is good though. Let's heal him up. Alright, so what do we want to do? All you can do... Uh, okay, we just gotta survive this one and pray. Alright, and then that's it. Are you kidding me? Alright, pray. Defend. And I th think... Let's do the shield, because I'm not sure if uh, it's worn off or something. We even protected the bear. I don't even think we lost a single bear. Is Pooh gonna die? Alright, Pooh's dead. Please give us strength if it is possible. Please, somebody help us. Yeah, this is all up to Paula. the Mr. Saturns felt a new startling feeling they had never experienced before, and they all started praying for the safety of Mirik and his friends. That's nice. Alright, well who's dead, so... The fence became unstable. Oh shit. No, oh, fuck. Alright, let's heal him up. Surprise Pooh is the one dying in here. Um, maybe I should use, let's see. It's not right, not right, not right. I'm ha, ha, ha happy. Paula prayed at the bottom of her heart, from the bottom of her heart. Give, please give us strength. Anyone who would hear our, our plea, help us. I like this part. Damn, I didn't think we'd see them anymore. I guess they are an integral part of our mission, or our journey. Suddenly, one of the Runaway Five felt something stop him. And he prayed fervently for the safety. Oh shit, I couldn't read that. Anyways, he's praying for us. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Okay, that was damaging. Um, let's just max out again. Afraid Pooh's gonna die. Jeff, just block. What do I have on me? Nothing, okay. Defend. Midik. I'm happy. Friends. Paula prayed from the bottom of her heart. Please give us strength. Speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. Spread.
Paula's father thought he somehow heard his daughter's voice and prayed sincerely for the safety of Paula and her friends. Damage isn't that good, but I mean it's damage. I mean, honestly, we're doing really good. I'm happy. Miduk. Miduk. Miduk is on guard. Paula prayed from the bottom of her heart. We're just praying. Nothing's even happening to us. Anyone who can hear our plea help us. Alright, who's next? It's the squad with Jeff. Didn't Jeff only have one friend though? Suddenly, Tony felt anxious about Jeff, and he prayed strongly for the safety of Jeff and his friends. Oh wow, that's a lot of damage. Alright. Oops, she has to pray. It's cool that pray is actually something that needs to be used. Go back, Arg. Arg. You cannot grasp the true form of Gigas' attack. Okay, we could take that. Paula sure could take that. Paula prayed. Please grant us power. Yeah, we gotta heal Jeff after this. It's all of the girls who like Pooh. A young woman in Dalam woke from a dream in which Prince Pooh died, and she began to pray for the well-being of Pooh and his friends. I'm surprised there wasn't more girls. Damn, this is getting stronger. Alright, let's pray. Oh wait, no. Uh, we gotta heal. And then we should probably get Pooh to heal me slightly. Just slightly. Or himself, maybe. I don't know. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Miduk. It's not right, not right, not right. We cannot grasp the true form of Gigas' attack. Well, he's missing a lot. Is it because we did the brain shock? It has to be. Sure, I don't sneeze. Okay. Just a burger place? Suddenly, Frank. Oh, it's Frank. Frank recalled Miruka's shining young face and began to pray diligently for the safety of Miruka. Forgot about that guy. I haven't seen him in, since the very beginning, right? He was like the first enemy, first boss, I think. You see, I think he was knifing us, right? He was gonna talk about cutting us up or something? Probably not, but I remember it was some, some gang shit. Miruk, I'm so sad, Miruk. Alright, who's next? Oh, it is speed this prayer to all the people of the earth. I thought it was spend. So we're speeding the prayer. Okay. Are we gonna get to see the dad? No. Suddenly, Miruk's mother felt terrible, uneasy, and she began to pray for the safety of her son and his friends. That's probably the best prayer, like the stronger one. I don't know why Frank was so late in the game. 
Frank should have been the first. Oh shit. 181. Damn, he is tripping out. Chill out. <laughs> Alright, let's keep praying. And just defend. Actually, Paula probably... No, she doesn't. She just doesn't have that much HP. Someone, anyone, please help us. Paula's call was absorbed by the darkness. What? Miruk, I'm so sad. Miruk, go back. You cannot grasp the true form of Gigas' attack, okay? He keeps missing. <clears throat> oh shit, Jeff died. How did that happen? Just revive him, pray, and defend. I'm happy. Miruk, 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 Miruk. <laughs> okay. Miruk, Miruk, Miruk. Go back. You cannot grasp the true form. Ooh. Alright, Paul is good. Paul is solidified. Okay, she's fine now. Jeff's back. Let's heal him up. Pray and defend. Oh, wait, no. Heal me up. Not that much. It hurts, Miruk. Ah, girl. Oh. Miruk. You cannot grasp. Okay. Oh, fuck. Franklin badge deflected it. Good. So that. Did it deflect off him and then hit the bear? That's what it looked like. Someone, can you hear me? Can you hear? Yeah, give us strength. Paula and her friends calls. Touch the heart of. Who? Fuck. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. Miruka Chan prayed. Oh, it's me. Miruka Chan prayed for everybody. And that's. That is the biggest it. Miruka Chan kept, kept praying. I guess it's up to me now. Damn. That was almost 6k. Miruka Chan kept praying. Oh my god, 110k, Miruku chan kept praying. Is it gonna be 999? No, almost. Almost 3k, or 300k. I wonder if there's any other way to beat this, I don't think so. It doesn't make sense that there would be. Oh, look who's back. Miruk, now I, well, it's going to seem like I'm running away, but perhaps I'll just sneak away to another era to think about my next plan. Alright, man. It's a good bet that we will see each other again. Alright, I'll be seeing you. So now which one of us do you think is the cool guy? Alright, <laughs> the fuck? Clearly you. Oh shit, this is very trippy. This is, my eyes are hurting. <laughs> okay, alright, come on, alright, ow. Come on. Ow. There we go. That's crazy that we did it. Um, and we still have all our healing items. We have all but one bottle rocket. And we have all our teddy bears. So, Damn, are we dead? The war against Gigas is over. We look so banged up.
That's crazy. So did he carry our bodies back? I mean, they sure got back easy. I guess that's what the Phase Distorter 3 can do. That's for sure they took our brains as well. Not just our spirits, but okay. Our travels together end here. I must return to Dalam and use his experience for the good of my country. Meteor Kapala Jeff, let me demonstrate a strange power before I go. I realized this power as a child. PSI farewell now. I'll see you again someday. Oh wow, the new teleport I guess? I never got to see what the Star Storm does. Omega Star Storm. I guess I could just watch a YouTube video on that though. I'm not really tripping. Paula, Miruk. It was great to hang out with you guys. It really was. I'm glad that I had the chance to use some of the theories that I have been studying so hard. It's remarkable. If... Just maybe. Well, if you two get hitched someday... Oh, wow. Maybe I'll be the one that fixes your broken electronic appliances. I'm going to stay here for a while and see if I can learn more from Dr. Andonitz. I mean, from my dad. So it looks like this is... Goodbye for now, my friends. Alright, Jeff. Whoa, this is getting weird. Mirik, will you escort me home? Uh, no. Well then, I'll escort you. What? Escort me where? Okay, it's just, just me and Paula then? Is this how it ends? It was fun hanging out together. It's a miracle. A miracle that has only happened because of your great courage. Believe me, I went through a lifetime worth of stress while you were gone. I just wish I could have come with you as a robot. I should have used the phase distorter. What a story that would have been. Scientist and four kids save the world. I mean, four kids saving the world is probably better. A better story. There's a letter from Tony inside. Miruk takes it. Tony. Uh, Jeff's friend? Letter from Tony to Jeff. Okay. Let's give that to him real quick. Ah, Miruk, you've read it already. No, I didn't. I couldn't. That Tony has a heart of gold. I wanted to read it. Do I still have it? I do. Miruk opened the present. There's a letter from mom inside. A letter from mom to Miruk. Oh, okay, I have to use it to read it. Dear Miruk, how are you? Since you left home on your journey, things have changed around here. For example, I don't have as much laundry. Also, we don't seem to eat omelet as much as we used to. I heard that you defeated some universal evil character. What was it? Googie? Or something like that? <laughs> well, that sounds really great. I want to hear all the details. So hurry home, okay? Tracy King and I are waiting for you. Love, Mama. Sounds like they don't really like omelets that much. A letter from the kids. Too much stuff. Let's read this. Dear Jeff, everything's going really great here. I wish I could have gone with you on your journey, even just part of the way. But inside, instead, I'm sitting here, waiting for you in winters. I want to see you again as soon as possible. I can't wait to see your cheerful face. I bet your glasses are dirty. If you come back, I'll clean them for you. Like I said, I'm waiting for you. Truly yours, Tony. So it sounded kind of like a love letter. P.S. Don't show this letter to anyone. Yeah, it seems very private. Um, I wanna... That letter, can I... He doesn't want it, so can I drop it? No, I can't. It makes sense. I mean, it'd be kind of rude. We are going very slow, too. Oh, it's just because everybody's around. 
Let's do a quick store and then come back and get that letter. Oh, shit. Oh wait, no, we can't. Shit. We have to make a call. I forgot about that. And we gotta get a dollar to make the call, right? Eighteen dollars. Really takes away from the, uh, immersion a bit. Tracy doesn't work here anymore? Yeah, she used to work here part-time, huh? This is Mirik, Tracy's brother? I've heard about the great work you're doing. It's an honor to talk to you, sir. Oh, you're calling for a delivery? I'm very sorry. My wife is out on maternity leave, so I'm taking care of my other kid. I decided to take some time off from the delivery business. It's right next to the fridge. Put it in the microwave. That's it. Sorry about that. I'm a little busy right now, as you heard. I really would like to hear some of your stories. Zoiks. That was dog's food. Crash. Hey, hey. Now look what you've done. I'm sorry I've got to go. Goodbye. Well, damn. Everybody's just done. Can I sell you my bat? Dear, dear, doing no can... Ah, damn it. Come on. What can I get rid of? I have to sell... Paula doesn't have anything? Alright, let's just use this. Just eat that. Give you the Tony letter. So I can get the other letter. Yeah, the battle was so, uh, easy. That, uh, my inventory is still full. <laughs> Honestly, the um, the the battle against uh, my nightmare was much harder than uh, Gigas. It's just kind of crazy to think. Maybe you open the present. There was a letter from kids inside. All right. Yeah, I almost died on that nightmare. Mirik's nightmare, but Gigas, it's like I just breeze right past that. But I mean, we did have all the party members, so. I gotta adjust myself. Dear Paula, how are you doing? I'm fine. I fine too. So are me. Me also. Oh, is this Paula's uh, family? Me okay. Please come and play with us again at the Pole Star Preschool. Oh yeah, one more thing. Bring us some presents if you have any. Sincerely, your friends at Pole Star Preschool. Yeah, we have to take Paula home, right? Zoom. Was scared. Now KO, I strong. Boing. It was in winters that we last met. I just got here. Tee hee hee. Incredible, excellent. I'm not quite sure what for, but congratulations on a job well done. If uh, we ever have the chance to get together again, let's go on a picnic or something. Maybe we could play horseshoes too. What the fuck? He's like, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but good job. The chance of Gigas gaining victory with his monstrous plan was 99%. Not really. However, your courage has produced a 1% chance that Gigas fails. We must try to come to a deeper understanding of this trait called courage. Oh, oh, wheeze, breathe is so good. What? His plan was foiled with uh, the help of Nintendo Power, honestly. I don't know how he would have done it without it, though, so, you yeah. know. I mean, I guess it is kind of difficult if you don't know what to do. If you know what to do, it's a breeze. Uh, let's see. So I said we need to take Paula home. She said she'd escort me home. I think I'll just go... Yeah, no, let's go home first. See what happens. Oh damn, the music's still playing. Alright. I guess everything is at peace now. Wait, no, we're going the wrong way. Yeah.
Let's go talk to my mom and then we'll take her home and see how that goes. Oh wait, what? I really should go home. I shouldn't be out just wandering here and there. Don't you think so? No. Well, okay, I guess I would like to be with you a little longer. It's like we're taking her to our room or something. <laughs> like, what is going on? It's like, don't be shy. Wow, you've become such a strong young man. I'd like to hear all your stories, but I don't want to annoy you. As soon as you walk through the door, I want to have a chance to get to know your little girlfriend. It's good to meet you, Paula. After all your chats, with people you meet on your adventure are finally over. Please come back here. The photo man brought an album by. I'd like to look at it with you. Chats with other people. Other dogs haven't figured it out yet, but I know that you guys saved the world. All right, let them know, man. Let's see what our sister has to say for not picking up our items. Quitting your job? Goody, my brother is back. You've got a lot of catching up to do with your schoolwork. Shork, if you have any problems with your assignments, I'll help you. Don't get freaked out. Did Escargo Express, my old company, help you? No, they didn't. I've saved some money, so we'll do the lunch thing sometime. Also, you got a new girlfriend. Your adventure must have been pretty good. <laughs> do you need help with anything other than your schoolwork? Uh, yeah, sure. What do you want? Okay. Yeah. You still work at Escargo Express. Come on. What? Just like I was talking to you when you were gone. What did she say? I missed something there. Okay, you relax now. Oh, fuck. I want to get that uh, other dialogue. Thing. We'll take care and talk to you later. Oh, I said take care. It just slipped out of my mouth. Okay. Yeah, she thought I was leaving, but well, just uh, reflexively. All right, let's take her to the bedroom. All right, we're here. Okay, I guess we have to take her home now. It's weird, because can't we? No, we can't teleport back, right? But still, we could come back here. Shit, do I save? Yeah, let's talk to my dad. Hi, it's your dad. To get to the next level... Ahaha, <laughs> I guess I don't need to tell you this anymore. Next week will be your birthday, Nuke. I'm trying very hard to be home for that big day. I'll be sure to get you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely but I want to hear about them from you in person. You sound a lot more mature over the phone. Well, I'll see you at home then. Bye. Wait, he didn't let me save. Okay, I can't talk to him. I guess I'm gonna see my dad eventually. Oh, this is mock pizza. Our delivery man got tired and quit. I never ordered a pizza from you guys ever. So we decided to close the shop. Thank you for consistently using us for all of your pizza needs. I never used your your service once. Oh, maybe once. I don't think so, though. Yo, this is the l Lazy Cowpoke Stop and Go. Yeah, we're a new truck stop. We just opened. What's that? The Stoic Club. That lame old place shut down ages ago. We totally remodeled the place. Now we've got loud music, great food, and really rowdy crowds. Listen, buddy. I'm too busy to talk to you right now. Just drop by any time. You come, you enjoy, I promise. Alright. I think we'll take Paula home, and then we'll just uh, stop there and see what else there is to do here before I actually uh, close this game off for good. Because it seems like there's other stuff we could do. I want to go check that out, but I don't want to be there uh, for too long. And I'm guessing there's other stuff, so I'll probably look that up as well. And see what else we could do here before uh, we say goodbye to this game for good. But I gotta make sure. Um, I wanna see what happens when we take her home. Oh shit. Meteor, thank you for escorting me home. 
There was something I wanted to tell you, but I've forgotten it. I'm sure I'll remember by the time I see you again. Well, I guess this is it. Goodbye. Uh, so long. See ya. Bye. It's not goodbye for long. Trust me. Yo, where's she at? Thank you for saving Paula. You are my hero. When I grow up, I want to be just like Paula. Paula is like a mother to me. You may not be able to comprehend my emotions. I might have a baby face, but I promise the mind... I possess the mind of an adult. I beg your pardon. You've lost some weight since I saw you last, Midu. Paula must have had quite an adventure. I'm glad you live so close to us. Why don't you drop by more often? I'm working at making better omelets. Oh, shit. She wants us around. She knows what we want. You're a very strong, young man. My opinions of you have changed. Perhaps you should continue dating Paula. Shit, I guess it's official. Everybody thinks we're dating. Just treat her right. Come by and visit anytime. You can even sleep on the living room couch instead of the one in the den. Fuck. We are in there. Where's Paula at? She ran to her room fast. A weird cat. Hey, what's up? I'm in your room. Meter, I guess it's time for you to go home. Oh, you don't want me here? Everyone is probably worried about you. Yeah, yeah. Kicking me out. Okay. Alright, let's go. Do I really go back home? I feel like I'm supposed to explore the place. Um, let's, yeah, let's go back home. Uh, we'll save state and then we'll talk to my mom, see what happens. She said she wanted to show me something. I'm guessing she wanted me to drop Paul off the photos or whatever, so. Because it seems like I can't save. So I gotta make sure I save state before I close the game. I definitely don't want to have to go through that again. Through fighting Gigas again. Even though I probably could just breeze through it. Alright, we'll save state here. Did you finish doing everything you wanted to? Um, no, you better go do everything because once you start looking at the album, you can't stop. Okay. Alright, we're gonna stop here then. God damn it, Dad. I wanna save. Alright, in the next one, um, yeah, we'll go see what else we can do and see if we can do those things. All of them. Or whatever we can do. I don't know if we've done everything or not, but yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one. If not, this will probably be the last one, but uh, it probably won't. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.